Hey guys, I hope you are doing all fine. So this is my Instagram page. If you haven't checked this page, just go and check this. So this is the render I shared today. So it's just like two hours ago. So in this video, we'll just break down this render, how I made this render, uh, how, how I set the frames and how I made the things look good. That's the important thing. So you know, we'll just break down this render and see how to make this effect work. So let's get started. So I have made this scene look real in Blender. So what uh, I'll just break down all those things like how I made all those things. So let's just un hide hide all those layers first. So we'll just unhide all those layers step by step. So I'll just show you how I made the thing work. So first of all, this is the preview. You can see this is the water which I made. So I'll just show you the shade editor. So uh, this is a principal BSDF mixed with a transparent BSDF, the material output to connect it to the material output. So what this thing does is, uh, instead of making it look whole transparent, I, we ha have to add principal BSDF with a mixed shader over here. So what will happen if we won't add a mix a transparent a principal BSDF with the transparent BSDF? So if you are having a uh, object underneath the water, it will look like it is uh, underneath the glass. But that's not the case. It is uh, beyond the water. So it, it is under the water actually. So it won't give that texture to it. So there is th th that is the reason I combined principal BSDF with this thing. Also, we have to give a principal volume over here. So this thing gives the tint to the water. So you can see a reddish tint to the water. So this is the reason why it is looking red. So uh, that is the thing which principal BSDF works on. Also, I added a bump and the musgrave texture. So this is the g thing that gives the waves to the water actually. So if you can see over here, what will happen if you take the settings first, I'll show you. So if we'll, what if I make it 100, so the waves will look bigger. And what if I'll tweak the strength? So uh, you can see over here, it's a gradual decrease in the amount of wave. So I'll just undo those things first. And uh, what if I'll make it 5000? So it will eventually look like the camera is far uh, away from the water and the waves will look smaller. Uh, so that's the reason you have, you can copy those settings, but uh, it just varies from render to render. So you have to get the settings right for the view to look good. Anyways, moving to the next part of the thing. So I'll just unhide the trees first. So these are the trees. It only contains a color to it. The reason uh, to add only the color and not the texture is eventually it won't be visible in the render, uh, the texture. And it will uh, also make the render light. Like it won't be a heavy render. Uh, it won't take much time to render if we are ha having just a color and not the texture over the objects. So that is the reason, but textures are important part of render. But for this view, it won't be eventually be looked in the part of the render. So it will be dark eventually. So that's the reason I added a diffuse BSDF. So the next thing I'll unhide is the pole, the light pole. So you can see I gave a concrete texture over here. So that is the free texture I downloaded from Polyheaven. So it contains the cracks and all those things. So uh, the scene is, uh, I'll just explain the scene first. So the scene is set up in a post-apocalyptic environment where everything is ruined, only the mutant is left. So if you have checked my Instagram, so the whole render is over there. You can see the color settings and all those things. It looks scary. So to achieve that, we have to be specific to the kind of texture we are giving to the objects. So this this over here, I gave a crack texture and also the kind of tree I took it like it is a low poly tree first of all. So it be it will be eventually looking like scary. Looks like the finger of which actually. So yeah, I chose this kind of tree. You can choose another tree. Uh, depend it eventually depends upon render to render actually. So the next thing I'll unhide are the cables. So hence it is a post-apocalyptic environment. So the cables eventually that won't be organized because there is no human left to organize those cables. So yeah, I downloaded the cables from uh, CG Traders. So you can also go check the free 
things which are over there so uh, yeah it has a pre built texture in it so i haven't tweaked anything over here so it's all the same next thing i'll unlock is the house so these two are the houses and this one is the church so it was also the free house which i downloaded so these are having a good texture and it will work in the render because you won't be able to see the details over here like it is far behind the camera and this thing it is eventually darker so that is the reason to choose this kind of thing so uh, you have to be specific with the scene which you are building and you have to then uh, choose the objects from that thing only the next thing i'll unlock is the foreground objects so setting the frame is also important so uh, the foreground things here which i chose are the rocks it is having a fine texture you can see over here it is having a great texture so the uh, so that is the reason i chose the rocks because it will look uh, like it is far it is not far away from the camera it is closer so we have to look the thing like it has to look good because it is near the camera you will see all those fine details in this things so that is the reason i chose this rock over here the another thing is the mutant over here so this is the central thing uh, in our render but uh, the i have added a texture over here you can see it it is a metal texture right it is not a meat texture it's a metal texture so the reason to select this texture is the meat texture was eventually having more uh, like bones and meat over there so uh, it was looking more white uh, and the metal texture over here it is the rusted texture actually so it was giving a fine uh, a grain to the texture it is not visible in this thing i'll just unhide the lights first so you able to see that things here so the uh, you can see the fine texture over here right S and the render looks like weird actually because it's over red it's all red so i'll just uh, it, this is because of the color of light actually so i'll just show you the thing so the color of light is red which you can see over here and also it has far more strength like it is not normal light it has far more volt and strength voltage and strength actually so the reason to give it red color is the same the we have to set a scene we have to tell a story through the render and the most important thing the volumetrics right it makes all the difference so you can see the volumetrics also has a color like it is not a blue color but the thing here it is looking blue that's the reason uh, so if i'll tweak the density like if i'll make it less denser so it will eventually look more of this color which is over right here right and if i'll make the it more dense it will look blue the reason it will look blue it is because it is the volumetrics are mixing with the light and also the volume scatter which is with the cube contents so the colors are also the important part of those renders so that's the thing hope you like the video if you like the video just like and subscribe share your ideas how you like those renders so yeah that's it see you in the next video bye